the show Red Line, I watched five episodes last night. Oh. Binge watched it. It was really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so with it being talking about police brutality and you know you're the guy that's playing your father being shot and all the drama around that. So with that being said, do you feel like we need to get better policemen or just invest in training police officers better? Well, I think one of the issues that the show is is trying to get at the heart of is the inherent bias that a lot of us have, inherent racial bi bias in a lot of cases. Um, that affects how you respond to things. Um, and so the show is hoping to have a conversation about that, that people will watch this and be willing to examine themselves to see where they stand on either side of that line. And if there is more room to grow in that area, that hopefully that will come as a result. So it's, it's the inherent bias that we all have that the show is hoping to explore more than, more than anything else, because that is the issue. Our goal is for people to talk to each other and listen to each mm -hmm. other. That's the main goal. And then I know on the show, of course, you're adopted and you're her uh, real mom on the show. So, and you had a black dad and a white dad. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it's important for kids that's raised in a, a different ethnicity if they're adopted and they might not have the privilege to meet their birth mom or birth dad, how important is it to get to know your history in the background? It is, it's extremely important. That's, I think that's one of the reasons why you know, Jira is so innocent and, and so um, she's, she isn't privy to this information about her race. Is she grew up in a very sheltered uh, North Side Chicago community. And honestly, Daniel and Harrison, her adoptive fathers, were just happy to have this baby in their home. So it, it was filled with so much love and comfort that they, they overlooked the fact that it is a multiracial home and, and Jira is black and, and that needed to be talked about a lot more. Um, well, I think that there's there's room for it, you know, but it also depends on the child. It depends on their adopted family and how they've set up things. You know what I mean? There there has to be room for people to, if they make that decision to adopt, um, to raise the child in the way that they see fit. But I personally do think that a child, if you are adopting a child of a different nationality or what have you, it's important for them to know their their heritage um, because it's not going to take away anything from you being their parents. And it's always a uh, it's always an uproar when it's uh, a white person uh, might kill or shoot a black person or when police. But why is, we don't get that same energy when it's black on black crime? Well, you know, I think it's it's one of those things when you think about not even just law enforcement. If you think about even in the field of um, of medicine and things like that. We have so many different areas where you see that black people, black women, black men are getting the shorter end of the stick in a lot of ways. You know, there, there should be no reason why in hospitals black women are dying at a higher rate when, when having children. Um, we, we have an issue. We have an issue in this country, and that's the heart of what this show is trying to, to get at. Um, and so where, where these lines kind of cross and intersect each other, we need to have a discussion. And that's the purpose of the show. And I, th I felt it was so funny on the first episode when the robber did not shoot him, but the police did. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think you, uh, viewers would see from it? They're just the instinct. What, what do you mean? Because we have a lot of mirroring elements. Um, the fact that it wasn't the robber who, who shot mm -hmm, you know, my mm -hmm. dad. It was a police officer. It, it, it's the same way where it, it was basically an, an Irishman who, in the pilot, my father is, is working on in the, in the hospital. It's an Irishman yeah. or an, looking that he's working on, and um, that ends up being the same you know type of person mm -hmm. who shoots him. We, we have a lot of elements that we hope uh, subliminally register with people and, and just a lot of, like, that that makes sense to me yeah so what do you want viewers to take from after watching this series talk to each other that's it and listen to each other see I, yourself absolutely. watch the show and, and and see where where you stand you know be willing to make a change if that's necessary or be willing to help someone else along their their journey of trying to to make a change but to just examine yourself to stop for a second take a moment and see where you stand I wholeheartedly believe that a lot of the issues in this country stem from being afraid of the unknown and, and, and us 
at some point we stop talking to each other. And if we are talking to each other and listening to each other and sharing stories and hopefully with the red line, mm -hmm. sharing how we connected with the red line, things have to get better.